Star Wars Commanders, welcome to this brand new video. We're kicking straight off of one of my recent attacks on a rebel base, and you will see that I managed to get quite a lot of stuff, a lot of alloy, a lot of credits and resources that I've been after to help build up my base. Now, my base level hasn't increased, but you'll see at the end of the video a tour of my current base setup, and I will be adapting my layout slightly to accommodate some of the new tracks, some of the new structures that I've acquired being at this high level now. Uh, you also see me do have a couple of base defences, so that I, I had I had a day where my base was under siege basically, I was attacked three times in a short space of time and the last guy who attacked me uh, managed to win, which is rare, so it's got me thinking do I need to change something in my base, but because I'm upgrading weaponry as well, my shield generator has been upgraded, a lot of my structures and defences are down, so it gave them an opportunity to get in there really and, and, and slightly get a win. I mean, it really was a very small margin, but it was enough to give them the win. Um, wh so, do I need to worry about that? I don't really know, because my base structure has been doing really, really well. So I reckon probably my rate of defences, I've been winning, I reckon about 96% I've had as a success rate from people who attack me. But also you'll notice on his uh, squad he had much stronger units than my turrets. So he's level 9s and 10s, so he had a much stronger attack force than I would have. So another reason why he probably you know, won the day. But it was very tight margin, so it kind of gives me courage. But look at that, 8k there, 527k of credits, wow. Here we go, so this is, this is my first defence. My bottom right shield is currently been upgraded, I think, before his attack. It should be upgraded by now to the next level. So, again, nothing particularly different to my base layout to what it has been in the past. Got an alloy deposit up the top left there, which I'm just leveling up. Uh, I left it out in the open because I haven't got much, much alloy stored in there, so there's nothing to worry about. Also got a new credit facility deposit there next to my rocket troopers there and next to my contraband cantina area there. So there's a few things there that have changed, but nothing too much in my defence. I'll get my walls levelled up a little bit now as well. So don't, as I said before in previous videos, I don't like to have too much in my base because otherwise it, it leaves you open to attack and players who need resources will just come along and try and get what they can in a hit and run because that's exactly what I do in a hit and run. But in this particular attack, as you see, he does make a good significant push right across my base. Uh, and that tight striker trap just miraculously was left untouched, which just amazed me. I'm like, wow, how can you just absolutely avoid all of that? But importantly, my squad defence is there for my squad centre come out and save the day. So right now, we've got a couple of airstrikes in there, so he took out my ATST walker. So if you're not in a if you're not in a guild or a squad as they are in, in this game, it's important that you do get in one, one for rewards, but also it's important the fact that you have extra defences and if for example you're a new player to the game or low level player to the game and then your squads are level 10s that unit at level 10 will be a level 10 unit defending your base against whatever is dropped so it's always handy to have that extra line of defence and as you can see here that line of defence helped me win the day and that was a GG right there one more airstrike in takes out the, canti uh, the contraband cantina but nothing to worry about so overall good defense he didn't, he didn't come away with hardly anything in that attack so that was good for me uh, so now top right hand corner you'll see my shield generator is now leveled up uh, which is taking a long taking literally seven days for that to happen um, no Jordica here but he's coming straight in with his heavy gunners in comes some rocket tanks and it's, it's a real strong push now down this side but hopefully I've got a good strong enough defence there. So the idea is that I want, to, want to, this exact way he's coming, I want him to go this way. But fortunately, as you can see, he's got a rocket rocket trooper there who's actually managing to wipe out all the traps. So his troopers are coming through, which isn't the idea for me. And that's another thing that kind of let me down. And in my base, I've only got a couple of stormtroopers in there, so I haven't really got much to defend with because my base has just been hit so many times. So rocket troopers managed to take out all the traps. Admiral Akbar will be pleased about that. So right now, just trying to get his heavy gunners under control, but that medical droid there is healing up everything as he keeps pushing through the middle of my base. 
and nothing appears to be stopping him. Why? Because of that droid healing everything up despite having all those turrets shooting at it. And they are making absolutely swift work of all my turrets. I'm using a lot of heavy gunners lately as well in my stormtroopers and my, storm my attack force. I'm using a lot of heavy gunners, which is pretty cool. But now, finally, the droid's been shot. One thing about this game, the AI is not the smartest. You know, they, they have, they're more inclined to attack. But there you go, that was his push. And as you can see, 52% against what he had. He's got that trooper up there, my life. He's probably going to be there for the, for the next 20 seconds. So I think this is where I speed it up, I can't remember. Um, but basically, yeah, I do speed it up. So that is really it. So it wasn't, you know, it's nothing to worry about in terms of a, a loss, because it's 52%. Look at his units there. They're much, much stronger than what I would normally have. So overall, nothing to worry about too much, I think, really, from that loss. It's only one star as well. So here we go. A tour of my current base setup. Nothing has really changed from my original layout. I've just got an alloy deposit up there because I'm just upgrading it. And the reason why it's outside the base is because I haven't really got much alloy to worry about just yet. Uh, all my troop facilities are leveled up to max. Top right hand corner, my shield generator is now level 8. And it's the first level 8 I've got. And what I'll do is I'll do the next shield generator shortly. And when I do, I'll swap them over because I don't want the corner to be vulnerable. So I'll literally put a shield generator in there that, that works if I'm going to upgrade anything. That makes it a little bit easier, and my base is a little bit stronger, I think, in that particular area. So, have a look around. Feel free to pause the video to check out the, the format, layout, etc., or what's going on around the base. Uh, thanks again for your support, and I'll be doing some more Force Star Wars Commander videos. Keep saying Force Commanders, that's an old game. Video soon. May the Force be with you, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.